Yo, what it do? Uh, Dan the Man live in the Masters right now. Um, operations are really slow. Uh, this is the Juggalo Masters channel, and uh, this is Monday, so I'm going to bring to you a little thing that I saw trending on Twitter. So I'm like, yo, let's just... Uh, let me do it, yo, because I was I was looking for something to do for Monday. I'm like, what can I do for Monday? I'm like, Mighty Monday, uh, Mystical Monday, you know, all these, like, abstract things or whatever, but, like, something really still very broad, but, you know, let's do Music Monday. So, this is Music Monday episode one. What you going to do? When Dan the Man runs wild on you. Haha. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, okay, so this is Monday Music, uh. Music Monday, episode one. So, check this out. Music for me has evolved over the years. Um. What I notice now is that I now like to enjoy music. CDs in general, like, I still go out and buy CDs, so I'll cop it, and then I'll pop it in the CD player in my car, and I'll drive around, you know, doing whatever I'm doing, listening to the CD blast in the car, and um, that's the best way to listen to a good quality CD for me now. It's like, because I, I, I'll pop a CD into my stereo, and I won't get the same effect, I won't get the same, you know, comfort, the same enjoyment out of it than when I will pop it into the CD player in the car, just blast tunes, drive around, doing what I gotta do. So that's where, that's what I like to do now. Um, some of the CDs that I have blasted in the car, now that I've recently been able to drive around, are like Yellow Wolf. Zero to sixty trunk music. Um, Doctor Dre two thousand one the Chronic, So Sick Social Club Dead Friends Don't Tell, Obi Trice Bottoms Up, uh, Nicki Minaj Pink Friday. Um, anything else? Uh, Cottonmouth Kings, uh, Secret Stash, Number Five. Um, Cottonmouth King Sunrise Session. Uh, anything else? Those are the most recent ones that I could think of that um, you know that I've driven around listening to, blasting, and enjoying. So um, so yeah, so that's how I enjoy my music the most nowadays. Before then, I used to enjoy this sitting on like the. Um, what is it? The bus, you know, or the TTC, uh, like the bus or the train, listening to music on my iPod, and I still enjoyed that. Don't get me wrong, but like, you know, it's kind of run its time. It's kind of run its oldness now. Like, I I'll do that, but I gotta find a new way to evolve that. Um. Sorry, uh, I thought I heard something interesting on Jeopardy happening um, down in the mid-level. Haha. <laughs> okay, Move, uh, continuing what, what, what I was saying. Before the iPod, though, you know, I had many devices. Like, I had a PSP for a bit. I had an MP3 player for a bit, whatever. You know, that shit didn't last or work. The PSP got jacked by a carny. Um, yeah, stupid me, I know. Okay, um, but before, you know, before the iPod, which was like my love, you know, my, that device I needed to survive, uh, it was my CD player, my, and it was a CD MP3 player, and this was like the best crisp CD player I ever had, because I had like three in total, you know, and this, the first one was alright, second one, fantastic level sounds, this thing was like indestructible, you know, dropped it a shitload of times, didn't break, um, and then, you know, I had it, and I would go to the high school, you know, my CD Walkman, my headphones, just like, be in my own world, my own zone, and just be 
just be that crazy like that CD player has taken in the likes of like Lloyd Banks Rookie of the Year, you know, some 50 Cent mixtapes, Boondocks, Pumpkinhead, Crimson Creek, uh, wait, Crimson Creek? Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure Crimson Creek made it on there before the destruction of my CD player. Uh, The Harvest, um, anything else? You know, Eminem Show, Slim Shady LP, Marshall, when did I, yes, the Marshall Mathers LP, uh, burnt CDs, you know, like, of just taking my favorite songs and mixing them and putting them onto a CD, that was the shit back then, so I would have songs like Ray Mysterio, Entrance Theme, uh, The Ultimate Showdown with all the superheroes, uh, you know, those rare songs you couldn't find, like D12 Smackdown and, uh, you know, some remixes that, you know, were only, like, that were only viral for so, for this, for so much amount of time, you know, before they vanished, like, yeah, so I just had some really interesting, you know, I had fun with the CD Walkman, and before that... I didn't really rock a tape Walkman, um, so before that, I didn't, you know, I had just, I had music in my head, and funny enough, music's still in my head, so, you know, whether with an iPod or not, an MP3 player or not, music's always going to be in my head, so, like, that's how, you know, that's how I rock shit, that's like my evolution, kind of, of where I am today with music, and how I enjoy it the most. Um, I guess I'll enjoy my stereo later in life, you know, like if I have to throw a party or something and just varietize the songs or whatever, just have a bunch of friends over, you know, blast like Swollen Members, Cottonmouth Kings, uh, Eminem, 50 Cent, Insane Clown Posse, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but not anytime soon. So yeah, so this is Music Monday number one, episode one. Yeah, be back at you on a given Monday, talking about music a little more in depth and detail and whatever I want to talk about in the music segment. All right, yo, music Monday number one, out this bitch. Peace the fuck out.